Okay, so, you know, transfer season is almost done and um, with the World Cup coming very close, about three months away, I'm sure you've been keeping an eye on the movements of Ghanaian players and what's happening with our guys, especially those who have an eye on for the World Cup. Um, what has been your general overview on, uh, you know, the deals involving Ghanaian? Um, slow, if I'm honest. Um, I think I would have liked to have some of the deals already done, uh, especially at the back end of, uh, of last season when we went to Japan, there were a few players that were looking for a transfer, so I would have liked that to be concluded. But having said that, th there are always lots of challenges, um, not just from the player's point of view, but you know, in a transfer, you've got the fees, you've got the agents involved, you've got the coaches involved, the club that is going to, can they agree? Then you, the player have to agree his personal terms, the length of contract, is it a nice city? Is it a place where they can stay? Can they feel comfortable? So there's a lot of aspects that come with the transfer. And especially being a Ghanaian player, uh, it's, it's, it's even harder. Uh, one thing that I always like to mention is the weather, as an example. Um, some of our boys will play in a weather where the temperatures are very cold. And you have to be ready and still perform in those type of conditions. But... Um, I think the latest one that has just happened as we are speaking is uh, Felix going, of course, leaving uh, AS Roma. Uh, is it Cremonese? Yes, where he's gone to, which is good because I, I think for a young player like, like him, it's important to keep developing. And, and the only way you would develop is to play games. Uh, training won't give you that. So it, it's a very good move from uh, Felix to do that. And hopefully we'll get to see the best of him prior to the World Cup. Right, so I wanted to touch a bit on younger players in the team moving and uh, making moves, but since you already mentioned that, I think I'll just skip it and uh, focus more on a, a little bit more on uh, more established players in the names of Chure and the others who are, you know, struggling to get minutes or after making some moves and also looking a bit at Kudus, who is you no know, eyeing a move away from uh, Ajax to a club like Everton. Um, how does all of that, you know, influence, you know, decision making and uh, making a final list for the World Cup? Well, we, we as, as a staff, we are not just only coaches for these players. We are also a guardian. We look after them, we discuss. Uh, there's a lot of uh, 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 advice being asked over the due course of time. Uh, in terms of kudus-wise, um, we don't know the ins and outs of everything, but all we do know is that obviously there's been an interest from, from a different club from the UK. Um, I think he's developing very well. He's in a country where the football is of high level. And I'm sure if you speak to Mo, he would say that he's learned a lot uh, in his time at Ajax. Whether it's time for him to leave, uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, but all, all we would like to have is, is Mohamed Kudus to play more games, to start more. He had a very good pre-season. And uh, when we had discussions and uh, I complimented him about it and I said you have to keep going because this is the requirements that all you can do is perform well. Every time they you are called upon is play well. So, and Kofi, Kofi Chire has, has made a very good move uh, going from uh, Bundesliga 2 to Bundesliga. And uh, for us, I think that's what we want to see. Every player have to want to play at the highest level and it's a positive move. But, there's a but, once you have the move, you have to remember, the player have to settle. You, you, you walk into a dressing room with probably 30, 40 different faces. Even though you know them from playing against them, it's totally different as now sharing a dressing room together. You have to get to understand the coach's philosophy and style of play. You have to understand the aspect and the coach of the, of the club how they do things. So I think we have to be a little bit more patient when it comes to Kofichre and other senior players who have made big moves because it takes a bit more time to settle and then gradually, hopefully, the performance will come up. I have one final question, but just before that, you mentioned that, um, you know, in a big season, important a window like this, uh, you know, we are very sure that coaches talk to their players and you know, try and give advice. So what was that one key thing which was striking out from you to those players, also national team players in this window? Well, we, we <laughs> you, you won't believe it, but it's a very simple one really, it's, it's to stay fit. <laughs> yeah, we want, we want everyone to be fit. 
Uh, I know that lots of people are thinking that we have a very difficult job, which we do, uh, in terms of selecting the right players, which is difficult because they are all very good. They are all, in their own way, working extremely hard and we respect every one of them. Uh, however, we want everybody to stay fit because we want that problem. That's a healthy problem to have. Yeah, we, don't, we, we would not like it if we have to choose players because based on the fact that they are the only ones left. We like it when it's difficult because uh, this one is playing really good, this one is playing better, this one, and then it's, it makes it even better for us to make the right decision. Um, but the best advice we've given them is to stay fit. Secondly, can you try and get more game time? We would like to see all our boys playing week in, week out. And uh, so far, some have done it. Uh, if you look at Benjamin Tete at Hull City as an example, he's, he's made the move, he started a few games, gradually getting to the pace of the English games, so that's not easy for him. Uh, Osman Bukhari has had a fantastic move, and uh, he's scoring goals and creating chances. So everywhere, every player is totally different. But two things, stay fit and try and get game time. And finally, you know, we speak to managers, especially at the national team level, and then they always strike out like one thing they're looking out for the and the team is balance and all of that. So you mentioned uh, you mentioned the young players, you mentioned the uh, new players coming to the team. Now let's look at the players who are already established in the team, like um, you know, Wakasu and other guys who are you know struggling to find teams with a crucial period coming up. How how, how does that affect your team, uh, your decisions, uh, you know, going into this uh, crucial period? It's important that everybody is aware that whether they are in the team or not, uh, or haven't been in the team, as long as they are representing Ghana, we are monitoring them and we are speaking to them on a weekly, daily, monthly basis. So with us as staff, it's not like, oh, we haven't called them up this window, so we haven't spoken to him. Uh, Otto has been really good, really working hard in terms of that, trying to keep the relationships together. And we are staff together with Chris, Uten, Didi, and Richard Kingston, myself. We are all really trying and helping Otto to make sure that those relationships are established and also continuing. So also the feedback after comes, still is trying to speak to the players to try and be in contact and see how they are doing. This is really important because football nowadays is not just about the players get on the pitch and performing. It's about relationship. It's about development. So the players you've mentioned, Wakaso, we are still speaking to on a daily slash weekly basis. All the others that have been called up before, if they haven't been with us or are not c being selected this coming camp, we are still in touch with them. Because again, it's important that we keep all those relationships going. Oh, well, I was continuing, but I see you have, you know, hard bed time. So thank you so much for your yeah. time. Yeah. yeah.